there. Hi there. I'm actually, well, first of all, I'm going to uh, say who I am. And I'm actually a well-known uh, adult industry star in the United States, not here in Mexico, but I'm Mexican-American. My, my mom's Mexican and my father is American. And my father had a lot of businesses here when I was young, when I was very young. So I know Mexico very well and I know the culture very well. And I am taking the time, my out of my precious time, to tell you guys the story that happened to me at this restaurant called Evano. It's a coffee shop. Unfortunately, you know, it's it, it, they they have good they have good meals. You know, it's kind of like a healthier uh, type of restaurant, and I used to like it and frequent it. I was born and raised in Hawaii, but now I'm an expat in Mexico, and I live between here and the United States. And I was frequenting that coffee shop. It's called Evano, and it's in Roma Norte. And this is what happened to me, you know. And that this is why, you know, I would advise you not to go to the coffee shop because the owner is extremely rude, and he is not capable of handling anything that happens in that coffee shop with tact and good customer service. He, he has no customer service know-how. So this is a story, and I would plead with you, don't not make him money, because people like that should not even own businesses. You know, I, I don't care that it's Mexico. We should not expect anything less from a city, a cosmopolitan city like Mexico City that we expect in the United States. Anyways, this is what happened to me. You know, um, this is, this is a little complicated because if you don't speak Spanish, you wouldn't know the difference between the word usted and the word to. This words, the word is, the word usted, it's an archaic, archaic um, anachronistic hierarchical word that the Spaniards brought to Mexico to establish a hierarchical system to where the lower classes would talk to the speak to the higher classes with a different addressing in a different way to let them know that you are higher class than me or you are have wider skin than me or you are older than me. So I do not like these words, and I have a very re a good reason not to like them. They are hierarchical in nature. We're in the year 2020. You know, a hierarchical, words are powerful. A hierarchical vocabulary does affect society. It divides it. It divides it, you know. It divides the young, uh, the old and the young, the rich and the poor the high class versus the lower classes, the lighter skin, in Mexico, the lighter skin versus the dark complexion of the indigenous people. So no, I, I could make, I could write an essay as to why I think this hierarchical, colonial, anachronistic vocabulary does do a damage to the society in Mexico. I know Mexico very well. I know Mexico's history very well. So, Nobody that ha that has not lived in this country like I did when I was young can tell me anything about this country because I can write an essay about this society in Mexico. So, anyways, it was, I, anyways, I don't like to be uh, addressed addressed as usted, and I very well, I used to go to Evan all the time. I was a regular customer. I used to tip him forty percent of my bill. I really like their food. Um, I told my waiter in private and politely, you don't have to address me as usted. You can address me as tu. Tu is a more friendly, friendly way of addressing somebody. Tu means like we're equals here. Usted is we're, usted means we're not equals here. You are either older than me or richer than me or whiter than me. I don't like the word. And I have, like I said, I have reasons, valid reasons, why I hate that kind of vocabulary. Anyways, I told him in a very polite manner, oh, please, you don't have to address me as usted, you can call me too. Well, little did I know, all of a sudden, all the people, all his clients that were there, gammed up against me, 
and started bullying me and uh, very angrily saying that, you say you stand out of respect, but wait, look at this illogical Mexican logic. They did not respect that I was to my private conversation in a polite manner to my waiter, but to, to bully me and to, to be angry with me and to gang up against me because you say you stand out of respect, but you don't respect the private conversation. Isn't it like that a little strange? If I hear over here a private conversation out of respect, out of real respect of that for that person that I don't know, I'm not going to intrude into a private conversation and start fighting and arguing with that person over what she or he said. That's real respect. Well, next I know, the waiter comes and, the, not the waiter, the owner comes out and he, he, he sides with a gang, he sides with a mob because they mobbed up against me. Like in the worst, most humiliating way. They mobbed up against me and he throws me out. Me, a regular per, a regular customer who tips them 40% of, of her bill. He throws me out in the most humiliating way. I mean, really? Is that hard? Is, is that was that so hard to handle? Because I worked at the at the, at the most uh, prestigious macrobiotic restaurants in New York City. And, and a lot of bars in Las Vegas, the best nightclubs in Las Vegas and Hawaii and Florida. And this is how I would have handled it. It's very simple. Oh, if I saw a mob, mob bullying somebody else over something so stupid, I would have said, oh, no, 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 guys, don't worry. You know, if she doesn't like to be addressed as a stead, we do our best to accommodate all of you. So she's a regular customer. If she doesn't like those that we can call her too. Um, and we want to keep all of you guys happy. And we go out of our way to keep you happy if we can. So no problem if she's a regular. Don't worry. We don't, it doesn't matter. All of, we want to keep all of you guys happy. Can I bring you anything else? Uh, can I bring you anything else to her? You know? No. He lacked tact. He lacked customer service know-how. He lacked humanity. He humiliated a woman, me, you know, just because he was a coward and he decided to, 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 to side with a mob. Only cowards do that, you know. What, he didn't have uh, enough self-confidence to, with tact, using tact, to handle the situation, and, and the situation was kind of stupid. Can you imagine any uh, more serious situation? The guy is an idiot. I mean, I don't know if he's retarded or an idiot or is a part of the culture that they get so offended over something so stupid, you know? But the truth is that Mexico is a very racist, classist, ageist country. And if you, they keep using that vocabulary, it just reinforces it. Be, some people may not agree with me. Some people, a lot of people do agree with me. Actually, there's YouTube videos saying that they, a lot of women hate the word "señora" and hate the word "usted." Yeah, because it, it, first of all, a lot of those words are like labels. The word senora is a label. The word senorita is a label. The word don is a label. Nobody likes to be labeled. We live in a different world than when those words were brought in by the Spaniards to establish a hierarchy in the Americas. <laughs> so because of that, I would warn you that this guy doesn't know how to handle a business. He shouldn't even have one, you know, because if you can't, Handle that small, and you're gonna allow a mob to bully a person who wasn't bothering them, who wasn't even talking to them. What does that tell you about the owner of that business? That he's dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous. You know, Mexico has the highest statistics of child abuse in the world. They're one of the countries, coincidentally, with India. 
Sevilla, who also has a hierarchical vocabulary, with the highest statistics for femicides in the world. Also, they kill their women, they beat them up, they emotionally abuse them, they verbally abuse them, they, they, they sell their children, they, number one in child abuse in the world, in the world. But say so you stand out of respect or they fly out the handle and they mob up against somebody. You know, foreigners, you're in a dangerous country, not because of the cartels, but because of their culture. You know, emotional and verbal abuse in Mexico is, is the culture. So be careful. I'm just telling you that. Be careful because this is a country where the culture itself is abusive and oppressive. Why did they care that I didn't like to be addressed by usted to mob up against me and be so aggressive against me and bully me? You're in a dangerous country, so I'm just saying, be careful.